of uh, the other teams that I've worked with, uh, this team is, a, is an incredibly hard-working team. There's some of the most professional players, uh, there's one or two that are the most professional players I've seen. Um, Mushfiqur Rahman, he goes about his business in a very professional manner. Um, he's a great example to some of the younger players and they are starting to follow him. Um, the majority of the squad, I have absolutely no complaints. They, they try very hard, they do everything that's asked of them. And, um, I think they're starting to now realise that it is, in this day and age, incredibly important to be physically fit because of the travel and because the games are often congested into a short space of time. So you do need to be on top of your your fitness work so that you can recover between matches and that you can keep playing at that high intensity the whole year round. I think um, fitness and fun is, is interesting because the fitter you get, the easier it actually becomes and you start to enjoy it a bit more. So I think when you first start to uh, try and improve your fitness, it can be difficult, you can get sore and it can be quite hard work, but as you get better and you, you do it more often, it actually becomes much more enjoyable. And I think at the moment, most of the, the players here in the squad are, are enjoying their physical training and they actually uh, offer something a little bit different to the cricket side of it, which they obviously do that a lot, but if you can keep them fresh, with new ideas and things in the gym that can also take their mind off of the pressures and the um, and the the day in day out the, the skills training. I think it was difficult for for some people to start with because of the the jet lag and the time difference. There is quite a substantial time difference between here and Bangladesh. So I think for the first week or so, quite a lot of people were getting over the, the jet lag and, and adjusting their sleep patterns. But I think once they got outside uh, to the training field after day seven or eight and they were able to use the gym and they were doing a bit more activity, they then started to find it easier to sleep and uh, things got a bit more normal. So I think now going into the matches, they've had enough time to adjust and, uh, and, and get themselves ready from a skill and a physical point of view. Um, I think actually, the little bit longer we've spent in the country might be a bit of a blessing in disguise because it actually allows us to, to build in to the matches a bit slower than with the original schedule. So although we were in quarantine in Christchurch for two weeks, um, the players were given some, some bands and there was an exercise bike in everybody's room for the first six days. So they were able to actually do some light exercise. And then after uh, day seven, the quarantine center let us, uh, all the players use um, a gym every day so we were actually able to do quite a bit of conditioning work whilst in the quarantine and then during skills practice they also had access to a uh, field to top up their running and their, their, their sprint work but because of the extra time we spent in quarantine we've actually had quite a nice build up to the series and then once we've come to Queenstown we've been able to ramp up again. Um, uh, excellent facility here, we've got access to the gym every day, access to the swimming pool for recovery and obviously access to the field so that they're able to run.